and welcome back to London TV. Today I'm visiting two sisters who are celebrating their birthday. There's nothing unusual about that, but these sisters are extraordinary. Today they're celebrating their 104th birthday. That makes them the oldest twins in England. Hello, I'm Sarah from London TV. Hello, Sarah. Come in. Are you the twin's brother? Oh, no. I'm only 80. I'm one of the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mabel and Rose. You need to speak louder than that, Sarah. My sisters only hear what you say if you speak loudly. Oh. Hello, Mabel and Rose. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You look wonderful. You don't look 104. How do you stay so young? We have a busy life. We get up early every day. We have two dogs and we take them for a walk every morning. We have three meals a day and we eat a lot of vegetables. We know it's important to eat well. Today, we're having fish and vegetables for lunch and vegetable soup for dinner. We're very sociable. We see our friends regularly and we love parties. I think that keeps us young. We get on well with our neighbours and we socialise with people of all ages. We believe it's important to keep the mind active, so we play cards. <laughs> Mabel usually wins. Well, I'm good at cards, but Rose is more creative than me. She's making a tablecloth. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm wearing a cardigan she made for me. It looks lovely on you. Mabel and Rose, do you go on holiday? Oh, yes. Our friends have invited us to their country house, but we prefer doing something more active. We're thinking of going to Disneyland with the great, 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 great grandchildren. We like trying out new things. We're looking for a new hobby. Yes, we're thinking of taking up salsa dancing. Hello again. In today's lesson, we will look at two types of verbs in the English language. Dynamic verbs and state verbs. Most English verbs have dynamic meanings. They describe actions like visiting, getting up or winning. Something happens. You can use dynamic verbs with both continuous or simple forms. Today, I'm visiting two sisters. We get up early every day. Mabel usually wins. You can usually use a dynamic verb to answer the question, what are you doing? A few English verbs have stative meanings. These verbs can describe emotional states. For example, like, hate, prefer. We prefer doing something more active. We like trying out new things. Or they can describe mental states. For example, think, believe, know. We know it's important to eat well. We believe it's important to keep the mind active. They can describe possession. For example, have, own, possess. We have two dogs and also the use of the senses. For example, feel, see and hear. My sisters only hear what you say if you speak loudly. 
You don't look 104. None of these verbs describe actions. Nothing happens. You cannot use state verbs with continuous forms. You can never use a state verb to answer the question, what are you doing? State verbs do not describe things that you do. They describe things that just, well, are. There are a few common verbs that have both dynamic and stative meanings. In these cases, the meanings are very different. Notice the differences in these examples from the story about Mabel and Rose. You look wonderful. We're looking for a new hobby. We have two dogs. Today, we're having fish and vegetables. I think that keeps us young. We're thinking of taking up salsa dancing. The important thing to remember is that verbs with stative meanings are never used with continuous forms. Well, that's all for today. Thank you and see you again soon.